How you doing? This is Melvin Brown. Welcome back to the Hoodoo Show. Now, listen, if you're in love with somebody and that person is married, do not come to me because why? That is one of the roughest cases. One of the roughest cases you can ever work with. Because if it do manifest, that person will wind up getting divorced. And what happened in divorce? It's a lot of alimony, child support. People want this property, that property, drama and everything. Basically, you, he, this man gonna come back a broken person. So let's just say your spell do manifest. Out of nowhere, this man talking to you, talking about he love you. Next thing you know, you all happy. Like, yeah, I got my spell. The next thing you know, y'all moving together. Then all of a sudden, this man don't have that much money. This man got paid child support left and right. When he get money, it, it slips out his hand. He missing his kids. He grieving and everything. He still want to be, I mean, he still, the spell manifests for you to be there. And y'all get together, but it won't work out like that. Look, let me tell you something. That's just an example. Listen, a wise man once told me this. Females, can y'all pay attention and take notes? Take out your notepads and pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. These are some jewels I'm about to drop for y'all. So have your pen and paper and listen to me. A wise man once told me this. With the females. And then listen, a wise man once told me this. This man can cheat on his wife, but you better best believe he ain't going to leave his wife. I'm going to say it again. This man will cheat on his wife, lie to his wife. But you better best believe he's not going to divorce his wife at all. So this man might be having sex with you, talking about he love you, he miss you. And next thing you know, he talking about, yeah, I'm going to divorce my wife and everything. And you all like, oh, I can't wait for him to divorce his wife. And next thing you know, you've been, well, you be waiting, 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 waiting within a month, two months, three months, four months. A year, two years, three years. It's never going to happen. Basically, you're going to be a side chick. Basically. Now, I had this one female client that I'm working with. I've been working with her since September. Okay, this man basically told her he was going through a divorce. Basically, what happens? She went to a root worker. You know what happened. It did not work out. She went to me. I told her this. I'm like, okay. This man, she's like, yeah, he told me he getting divorced. I said, okay, when the last thing y'all talk? Oh, we ain't talking six months. I said, look, you know why y'all ain't talking six months? Why? Because he ain't going to divorce her. No, no, he's just going through a lot of stress. Baby, don't be in denial. I'm telling you the truth. Now, we can work this case and work this case. I'm going to try my hardest to work this case out. What happens? All I know is I'm starting doing the work. There's some communication going on. What happens next? They wind up having sex. What happened next? You know, communication, having sex, text messages, stuff start happening. And he, this man didn't talk to her for six months. So all of a sudden it's working. So I'm like, all right, it's going to manifest. Now, all I know is she calls me crying. Melvin, what? That's why I say, I say what? He don't want to be with me. He said... We can be sexual partners, but he love his wife more than me. Is this something else we can do? Now, I remember a few months ago, she got a reading from somebody. That person said, yo, it's going to work, but you're going to be a side bitch for the rest of your life once it worked. She didn't listen. What happens? It manifested. So, basically... We got to do a new strategy plan. The goal is, I don't know. It's, it's still uh, up in the air. Now, I remember my homie Medicine Man said this, and it was too late because once I did it, Medicine Man said he do not like working with married cases because they are binded. Now, what I noticed is I talked to Medicine Man, August Midnight. August was talking about this. He said, Melvin, when you do this type of stuff, like trying to break with marriage, that's take a lot of energy out you and you're going to be drained probably for a month or probably a few weeks. I didn't listen. I was drained. And that was just for the communication, just trying to get them communicated. Basically, when somebody get married, they are at a church or whatever, taking an oath to honor, 
to love this person, and et cetera, et cetera. Kiss the bride, they are bonded. Basically, when your lover that you want to be with is married, there's nothing we can do. It's nothing now that Chris Chambers and Bernie Sanders, it worked it. But I don't know. On my end, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like this is gonna be a, this is like this is still an open project, and I'm still trying to learn from experience. Like, how can you maneuver through this? But basically, the man don't want to be where he told her, and she's still in denial. I said, look, it's easier for me to find you somebody else. No, I want him. I said, look, look, how long this man been married for? He been married for like seven years. Okay, look, if this man promised you and said he was gonna divorce his wife, what happened? What happened? This man didn't leave his wife. So basically, you in the loophole and you got to find somebody else. But she's not trying to hear it. Every time I'm telling her, she cussing at me. And I said, look, you want your money back? No, I don't want your money back. I don't want your money back. I said, look, I am trying my hardest. The best thing I need to do for you is give you a distraction right now in the meantime while I'm working on this. That's what I have to do. Send her somebody else and give her a distraction. Like, this, this this shit is fucking crazy, yo. This shit is fucking crazy. Like, if somebody calls me and say, Melvin, I need you to break this marriage and this married couple up, fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. I don't care if you got $12,000 in my hand. Hell no. Because that was a gift from God. And I'm not fucking that up. I could throw so many things at it. And it's going to backfire on your ass. Not on me. On you. Then you're going to be looking shit face. Melvin, I got him bad, but the man knocked all my teeth out. All right, but this is what you wanted. You can't say nothing to me. Like, you got, like, if a person is married, you got to let them go and find somebody else. It's the truth. You got to let them go and find somebody else. This is Melvin Brown. This is the Hoodoo Show. You can hit the like button. You can leave a comment. You can subscribe. Or you can email me. I'm out.